Is this a bad idea? What do I do? Just pull the trigger. The clearing is done and the road work has started. We're starting with going through and picking as much of the roots and organic material as we can. And then we're gonna start our new approach to our driveway. Oops. Okay. I'm going to attempt to use the CTIS to deflate these tires and drive out of this. We'll see what happens. It's working. Okay. I can hear the air coming out of the tires. That's awesome because our CTIS works intermittently. Right now it's working. Yes, I got the army truck very stuck in the mud. I'm on my way, but it's probably going to be about 20 minutes before I get there. Reckless Riley strikes again. Okay, the good news is the CKS worked and it aired us down to sand mode, which is sort of the lowest setting before you get into emergency mode. And while this is kind of an emergency, it's not really an emergency. Anyways, so Cordy's going to pull me out. We'll see what happens. All right, honey, you ready to pull me? Okay, it's really stuck. So Cordy's gonna unload the dirt out of the truck, make it a little lighter, and we're gonna try this again. I know you're probably thinking, why aren't you just dumping that? It's a dump truck. So the reason we're not just dumping the truck is that with it at this off-camber angle like it is, it'd be pretty dangerous. We'd run the risk of either damaging the, the hydraulic lift components or worse, flipping the truck over. So it's just easier with the excavator here to unload it by, to unload it with the excavator. And we're gonna try pulling it forward this time once we get it unloaded. It's dusk, I had to deploy the hat. The mosquitoes are out in full force. Guys, we were cutting our road in and we got so excited we didn't film. <laughs> so, here's the plan. Our road goes steep up this hill right here with this big approach right next to our neighbor's driveway. Here's our really steep old road, and here's the new road we're cutting in. Basically by adding a lot of distance, we're gonna make it a lot less steep. I think we missed a stump. And what do you think? <laughs> I think it's gonna work too. Um, I was really intimidated by the thought of cutting a new road in, um, and I think this is gonna work. There is a squirrel down there that has been taunting the dogs all morning.
Okay, you guys, we are now working on building the level of our road up to kind of spread this grade out over a longer distance. Kind of run out of fill to cut down here, so I'm cutting from the top of the hill, putting it in the truck, and then we're backing it down the hill. We basically need to build this up to like this level. It's gonna take a lot of fill. Slow and steady, that's the goal today. Backing down that hill around that turn is not very fun. Okay, I'm gonna try to explain this the best I can. So basically we're, now we're gonna add fill until the surface of the road is about right here, which is gonna be a 15% grade along this section. That's gonna get us higher up on the hill uh, faster so that we'll have less a less steep section further up. So here's the basic plan. This section right here, we're gonna continue building up until we get it to 15%. That way we have this nice long 15% hill rather than this really short 22% hill. We're getting all the fill for building up that lower section right here on this turn that, by cutting this bank back. That's gonna allow us to create a wider turn here and again, get more distance so that we have a less steep grade to drive up. Wow, what a big rock. I think it's also worth noting that this section of the road is not on our property. We have a 60 foot road easement through our neighbor's property to get to our property, which means that pretty much from the center line of the road, we have 30 feet either way that we are legally allowed to adjust and change to improve the road. But it does, it also means that we are a little limited on where we can be doing this work because we do have to stay within 30 feet of the center line of the old road. Our neighbors are extremely willing to work with us on this. They've been super helpful. Uh, he even came over and cut down a bunch of the trees for us for firewood uh, before we got started. So big thanks to our neighbors for being willing to work with us on this road work, but we do have a legal right to be doing this on their property. This is a lot of work, not like physical hard work, just like it grinds on you. Running the excavator definitely like requires a lot of attention um, and patience and doing it all day. I have a lot of respect for someone who runs equipment all day because the first like hour is really fun and then it gets a little boring. I'm feeling really hopeful about our progress. It's really good. We've moved a lot of dirt. Riley's gonna come down right now and get this all smoothed out with the excavator and then we'll do more cutting. We might have some more work to do. There is a giant boulder in our way. I've been chipping away at it and getting little pieces to break off and I finally just got this big old chunk to break off. I'm gonna try to move it. Making time for a sit down dinner is something that we try to do every night, but we don't always have time to plan meals and go grocery shopping. So we've been using HelloFresh for years and they're the sponsor of today's video. Balsamic tomato and herb chicken over buttery garlic pasta. Yum. Barbecue cheddar burgers. 
Rosemary pork chops? I don't know how to say that. Their step-by-step -step recipes are super easy to follow and the pre-portioned ingredients help cut out the prep time. HelloFresh helps us cut down on food waste because it means we only end up with food in the fridge we plan to eat. Riley loves that they have 50 weekly options because it means less what's for dinner and more time to work outside. Their recipes aren't just simple, they're also delicious. I love that their newest menu release includes Mediterranean recipes full of fresh fruit, veggies, nuts, and fiber-packed whole grains. So if dinner is important to you and you want to spend more time outside this summer, now is a great time to try HelloFresh. So go to HelloFresh.com and use the code AMBITIONSTRIKE16 for up to 16 free meals. And three surprise gifts. And thanks again to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. This part of the road is actually on our neighbor's property and he is really good at the chainsaw, very experienced at felling trees and he's offered to take these down for us. So thank you neighbor dude for taking care of the hard work on this one. Here we go. Lost a tooth. I literally, I ordered a new set of teeth this morning for this thing because I started thinking like, it would suck to lose a tooth in the middle of a job. Well, I guess I'll have them in five days. It is somewhere in here. I found it. <laughs> I can't believe I found it. <laughs> And I don't think it's broken. I think all I need to get up and running again is a roll pin. Woo! I called the tractor dealer in town. I was able to pay for the parts over the phone. They're gonna leave them outside. And I'm gonna get my pin today. <laughs> Nothing like having the back of the army truck try to pass you. <laughs> Starting way up there, the rear tires locked up, and the truck was like fishtailing back and forth, and the rear end hitting bank to bank as I came down the hill. And right about when I got right here, the rear end started going out sideways. <laughs> Luckily, I was at the bottom of the hill, and I was able to stop it. Guys, it is slippery today. All right, I got the pins. I'll admit, I got a little behind on editing this week, so, so I've mostly been up here catching up on work. I'm all caught up now, and we're gonna go see what he's up to. It sounds like he's kind of having an issue with a rock, and he asked me to bring the saw and the jackhammer, so that can't be a good sign. I can hear you from way over there. I bet. Is that how we ended up with a tooth missing? 
Um, yeah, yes. <laughs> Do I dare ask why you have me bring every destruction tool we own? I have been hammering on this rock for hours now and I've gotten little chunks to break off. It's just too high. We need to get a foot off the top of this rock. And we are. <laughs> All right, wish me luck. I think I'm gonna start right here. Yeah. It's working! All right. We'll see, see you in a, a couple hours. We'll see you in a few very loud hours. Is this a bad idea? Can I, can I do this? I'm gonna try. What do I do? Just pull the trigger. Something is moving. <laughs> it's breaking apart. Rock, paper, scissors, jackhammer. <laughs> we both went into this with complete skepticism but we were hopeful. Um, and I think this is about to all break apart. I can't believe it. I think we got this. Okay, we're not gonna celebrate yet. I'm gonna hop in the excavator. I'm gonna try to break these out without damaging the picks that are now stuck in the rocks. Oh yeah. I have spent more than a day hammering on this rock with the excavator, and by coming at it with a little bit of finesse and a better tactic, we succeeded in less than an hour. Oh Guys, look at how much rock I pulled out of that hole. I swear it was growing. We started this morning discouraged, but with a glimmer of hope. And guys, we totally succeeded. We got the rocks out of the way, which have been our nemesis all day. We thought we were gonna have to raise the entire road multiple feet to accommodate those rocks, and we don't have to do that now. We still have a lot of work left to go on this road before we are ready for gravel on Monday, but we're tired, we're hungry, we're gonna get some dinner and get an early start tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. The next episode's gonna be a good one because I hope that it has the entirety of finishing this road on it. <laughs> I sure hope so. I'm ready to move on to the next thing. Bye, guys.